I'm Mick Crawley and I've been at Silwood Park for 46 years. Man and boy, I was a PhD student here and I came back and went through the ranks ending up as campus dean. Imperial College London moved here in 1947 from Slough where they'd run out of space in their accommodation there. Silwood is a, a kilometre square roughly, it's 100 hectares, so it's given plenty of space for their field experiments. The earliest experiments started straight away in 1947, but the bulk of the experiments that are currently running started in the early 1970s. Most of the experiments here are ecological in one sense or another. A lot of them have to do with plant ecology, everything from oak trees to annual plants, but also a lot of them have to do with animals, everything from rabbits to aquatic insects. The latest experiment at Silwood is the one you're looking at behind me. This is the mesocosm experiment, which has 96 different combinations of aquatic communities studied in relation to climate change. The focus of my experiments is on herbivorous animals of various sorts. So one of the longest running experiments has to do with rabbits and their impact on plant community structure, but also how they relate to other herbivorous animals like insects and slugs and snails. So one of my long-term interests has been in a weedy plant called ragwort. You probably know it from horse pastures. It's poisonous to horses if it's made into hay, but the horses know enough about it to avoid it when it's alive. And people do all the wrong things when they try to control it. So for example, they pull it up before it's at seed. But that leaves behind five broken root fragments in the soil, each of which produces a new plant. So it's exactly the opposite of what you would want to do. It's very counterintuitive. The way to get rid of ragwort is to let it set seed, because producing seeds is what kills it. 